Taiwan is surrounded by the ocean, which serves as our shield and the access for us to connect to the whole world. To guard the sea is to protect the safety and prosperity of Taiwan. The international situation is constantly changing, and defending the traffic lines in the ocean requires a powerful marine patrol force. Promoting the autonomy of national defense illustrates Taiwan's determination to assert its sea power. It's the government's commitment to apply Taiwan's manufacturing capability to the development of the defense industry. The launch of local battleship building projects is not only to improve our maritime military power, but also to promote the development of shipbuilding industries by means of comprehensive policy making. The demand for national defense can be the driving force for upgrade and transformation of the shipbuilding industry. Indigenous Defense Battleship is a systematic policy and project connecting the defense and shipbuilding industries. In our long-term battleship building projects, from the Navy Panzer Ship, Tor River Prototype Ship, Tor River Class Ships, Amphibious Transport Dock Ships, Speed Mine Layer Boats, Frigate Ships, including Prototype Ship, and rescue ships to the sea patrol ships 35, 600, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 and 4,000 ton in projects led by the Coast Guard Administration. A total of 237 various defense ships has been or is being built by the shipyards. National competitiveness is rooted in good R&D capabilities. Taiwan already has self-development capability for various types of battleships and patrol ships. The government integrates the supply chain of shipyards and equipment system companies to combine military and civilian technologies and coordinate the companies in terms of design, equipment system, manufacturing and verification. The electrical engineering, information technology and communication industries will be introduced to improve industrial cooperation, stimulate supply chain growth and expand scale of industry, promoting comprehensive industrial competitiveness. In addition, for the purpose of integrating the resources of defense battleships and constructing a premium environment for industrial development, the government assists various organizations from academia and industry to develop core technologies in shipbuilding, benefiting national security and defense autonomy in all respects. In coordination with indigenous defense battleship, the government actively assists industry to develop equipment systems and facilitates technical cooperation between domestic and foreign defense battleship builders. These efforts will create competitive advantages for Taiwan's shipbuilding industry, provide positive economic benefits, and enable sustainable development for Taiwan's defense shipbuilding industry. Currently, many companies have invested in military and civilian shipbuilding technology and products through government R&D subsidies, such as Hongshan propellers and Shang'an explosion-proof light equipment. We have made efforts in indigenous defense battleship for seven to eight years. I hope that students can really understand this project and then grow an interest in joining the industry. We've even collaborated with NCKU and TUNT to invite teachers to the shipyard for teaching and training. The indigenous defense battleship policy creates jobs for us, as well as for our downstream manufacturers. So we don't have to buy components from abroad. This policy is the best one, not only creating jobs, but also driving the domestic economy. For many years, CSBC has promoted its capabilities of designing and building ships. With the R&D subsidy of promoting indigenous defense battleship, it's built over 100 battleships and actively invested in the development of key shipbuilding equipment systems. In addition, it has collaborated with domestic suppliers of ship equipment and systems for a long time to implement indigenous technical development, which plays a critical role in promoting Taiwan's shipbuilding industry and competitiveness. For shipyards, the indigenous defense battleship policy has been very good, but it needs strategic planning and implementation capabilities for development of the industry. This policy needs to integrate the resources of the Ministry of Economic Affairs, Ministry of National Defense, and Marine Patrol Administration to promote the technical capability of private shipbuilders. We've built Tor River battleships and mine layer ships and participated in the Industrial Cooperation Project under the Industrial Cooperation Promotion Panel of the Ministry of Economic Affairs. We introduced foreign technology to improve shipbuilding 
and are prepared for international competition, we will endeavor to win more international shipbuilding bids. During the promotion of national defense autonomy, there will always be many challenges. For Taiwan's shipbuilding industry, the policy of indigenous defense battleship is an opportunity, one that supports the industrial supply chain and improves the technology of our shipbuilding industry during development of the battleship building industry. Implementing national defense autonomy will drive the economy, collaboratively leading us into the new era.